before let your girl Adiola, ladies and gentlemen, please let somebody tell me exactly what is going on with Mr. President. What is going on with our president? Exactly how is he doing you? Abone saying your guy. Where? What is this? You see, this is how you get yourself in trouble. You are calling Mr. President a ghost walker. <laughs> the day they will come for you. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. As I was saying, Mr. President, uh, in case you are watching, but then say, yeah, that one, one soft one. You know, I don't agree with us going abroad for treatment. I think it's a national disgrace that our president has to go abroad for treatment. I've said this too many times, and I don't even know how to say it again. That's when, exactly when will Nigeria have good hospitals of international standard? This is a country of almost 200 million people. It is a national disgrace that the most populated African country, the giant of Africa, that our president still has to go abroad for treatment. Don't you get it? That it's not done elsewhere. It's like we didn't learn from what happened with Yara Dwa or Stella or Basanjo. We're hurting ourselves. We're doing more damage by not building good hospitals of international standard in our country and by not developing our health sector. In fact, there are some Nigerians that will argue that we don't have a functioning healthcare system. And I'm not just talking about having the buildings, but it's about what's inside. It's about the quality of treatment that people can get inside. Do we have the necessary gadgets? Do we have the necessary equipment? Even gloves. I've heard about medical personnel stealing gloves and going to sell it outside. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I wish we had a quick recovery, but it's important for him to carry us along about his health. And speaking of national disgrace, did you guys hear that workers at the Nigerian embassy in Washington, D.C. decided to go on a strike? Hey, 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 you see? Kia, Kia, the ambassador came out to do damage control, you know? He started telling in the media, there is no strike, the embassy is functioning, they are addressing the matter with utmost urgency, this, this, that. In fact, he was trying to paint it as if these are just enemies of progress that are trying to disgrace Nigeria. He said, well, these people wanted people to know that they were not paid and now the world has known. As if it is their fault that they cried out to the world. You see, Nigerian government hates embarrassment. What I don't know is why they had to wait for people to go on strike. Why do we like to disgrace ourselves? I've never heard of any other African embassy going on strike. I, have, I mean, South African embassy, Zambian embassy, Ugandan embassy, Kenya, even Zimbabwean embassy. I've never heard of them going on strike. And America is not like Nigeria. We pay bills here every single month. You have to pay your rent every month. You need to pay your car loan, your phone bill. If not, they will repossess your car. They will cut off your phone if you don't pay your phone bill. You will get kicked out if you don't pay your rent. And I know that it's not just the workers at the Washington DC office. You need to pay all your workers worldwide. If you don't want all countries talking about Nigerian embassy, on strike. Don't forget the ones in New York as well and the ones in Atlanta and the ones in UK or every part of the world. And speaking of Nigerian embassies, a Nigerian in Malaysia who asked to remain anonymous sent me these pictures of Nigerian embassy in Malaysia. When I saw these pictures, I was like, wow. Apparently the television you are seeing doesn't work. It's just there for decoration. And not only that, this is the only toilet that they have for visitors, for guests. It's just one toilet. So people have to line up outside the toilet. It's the same toilet for men and women and I mean, just imagine, this is how our toilet looks. Can you imagine? So not only do they need to pay salaries, but they need to renovate so many of our embassies around the world. It's a disgrace. It's, ah, you, you guys, you like to disgrace me too much. And speaking of not paying people, Monday was May Day in Nigeria, Workers' Day. But this year's May Day was different. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the workers booed the Minister of Labor, Chris Ngige, just as he was giving his speech. <laughs> of Oli. It means Steve. Tell him, I beg you, tell him. Can you guys believe what the minister said? What has happened is like uh, some people who are ignorant or some people uh, who are not really workers have infiltrated this uh, arena and they started causing some problem. Ha! Father! You see these people, eh? So some people who are not workers, they infiltrated the place. So they are the ones causing trouble. Eh? Hey, Mr. Ngige, seriously, <laughs> you are welcome to this. Are you serious? Really serious with that statement, my yoga? Do you not know that people have not been paid in several months and that some people have not been paid in a whole year? Nigerian officials tire me. I wish they would just be a human being for once, just for once, and agree that you failed the people and take responsibility and stop being so full of yourselves. Ah, I beg, I beg. Oh, um, by the way, didn't lie more to say that a recession will end as in end by the end of June. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Haba, what 
is your problem? Now, you are watching too much television. Why must you always call the man a liar? The only thing is, me, I was thinking that if recession will be over by next month, that at least by now, we should have seen some signs in the price of Gary and Get out! <laughs>